Hello everyone, and Sonya from UnrealTech.net. Welcome to another video in the UE4 C++ course. This video is called Knowing is Half the Battle Documentation. So we'll be looking at accessing the Unreal documentation, the API help files both on and offline, and we'll be creating our workspace folder for coding as well as source control. Remember our motto, create your way, and let's get started. So where do we go when we have a question or we need to look up the details of a member function or so on and so forth? Well, obviously the answer nowadays is online. We don't go to a reference manual so much anymore. If you go to the unrealengine.com website, where do we find the documentation we're looking for? Well, if you go under the learn tab, there is the simple documentation link and in there you'll find all sorts of stuff. I suggest you look over the programming guide that's very helpful but what we're looking for is the API so if you just search for API you'll see it brings up a category so you could search something like get actors if you're looking for a specific function but you don't know the exact name of the member function then you can hit the API filter and it'll just search in the API. So what I suggest is you find this link here the Unreal Engine API reference and you bookmark it. It has all of the runtime and editor and all sorts of other classes and everything in here that you will need. So if we were to look for a specific function we could go to all functions and we could find exactly what we needed. So this Unreal Engine API reference is a good link to bookmark and then at any point you can search for something say get player controller. If you didn't know exactly the, the right name for it, you could go, you could filter by the API and you would see that it's in the U gameplay statics class and it's called get player controller. And the class is a player controller for example. It has all these member functions like get most position and get players viewpoint and so on and so forth. You can find all this info in here. So that's why it's, it's a good thing to um, to bookmark this documentation. So some of the documentation we are going to look through is online most of the time. But what if you're looking offline? Well, you can find all, the entire API documentation offline. If you go to your installation directory for Unreal Engine and then go to your engine version under engine documentation, there is the CHM folder and there's api.chm and you'll see chm stands for compiled html help file so it's it's you've seen these before if you open it you'll you'll come across what you've seen before i'm sure in hundred of help files before and so in here we can search class a player controller and it's going to bring up all the different member functions and stuff enable input get hit result under cursor so on and so forth so all that information is offline so what I recommend you do is create a shortcut to this in your workspace now I call it a workspace because that's the naming standard that Unreal uses with Perforce we're gonna be using git so let's set up our workspace now let's go ahead and pick a folder I'm gonna go ahead in my documents I'm gonna create a new folder Unreal Tech CPP course this is going to be my workspace folder. I'm going to put everything in here. What we're going to do first is we're going to create a shortcut to that API here. So it's always there for us. So all we need to do is just take the API.chm, hold down the right mouse button, drag and let go into our workspace folder and create a shortcut. That way it's always there. And you can even rename it. You can call it API document if you want you could even give it a version number 4.12 or whatever because it will change a bit from engine version to engine version but it's always found in that directory so you can always find it there and once you have your workspace all set up with git and with your different projects you can always find it there i have it on the desktop but well, this is a good place to start so some more documents that I suggest you look at before we get on with the next videos is a search for setting up Visual Studio for UE4. You don't have to follow them, just read them. And there's the programming guide. Just take a quick, uh, take a quick little gander through it. And there is the source control page, which shows you what source control does, what all the little icons mean, how to log in, what it does, so on and so forth. And uh, yeah, so I'd suggest looking through all of those. And inside of our workspace, let's create a new folder called repository. 
And this is going to be where we put all our files on GitHub. I'm going to put all these files on GitHub so that you guys can look at the source if you need help or you need to look forward, you need to look back or so on and so forth. Or if we use files, it'll be on there. I suggest you use source control. It's great for working on a team and it's just something you will use in the future if you do any projects, especially open source or anything that's more than one person. And we will be using it. I will be using it, but uh, you don't have to. But I still suggest creating the folder so that you get you know the workflow of using source control and how to work with it so create a repository folder and that's where we'll put all our projects in so with that said i'm going to leave it there for now that's how you access the documentation we've now got our workspace set up so remember our motto create your way and we'll see you next time